Underdog Fantasy is the best. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video. And today we're going to be going over how to get free dev trade upgrades by just playing minicam. Now, before we get into the video, I want to give a big shout out to Underdog Fantasy. If you use my code down below in the description or click that link, you can get your first deposit matched up to $100. And as well, make sure to sub, like, and comment down below if you've seen this yet. Now, for a little bit, some people thought it may have been a glitch, but that didn't really make sense because when you actually achieve one of these devs, you do actually see the screen of you receiving it. Uh, a glitch wouldn't have it built in screen. This is clearly intended by EA. It's been confirmed as such. Now, slowly across the forums and stuff, you are seeing people slowly getting these. Now, I will say one thing. It's one of the things that needs to be labbed a little bit more to really confirm the exact output, maybe some ratios, maybe a spreadsheet. But in the meantime, I'll show you guys how to go ahead, how to go about getting it and kind of how you get it so before we get into this stuff we go into training camp which one thing i want to note in preseason it's called training camp preseason week one after that it's pretty much a weekly practice so from what i've tested there's not much of a difference in terms of dev trade hits from training camp to just a weekly practice mini camps but one thing i do want to note is that if you look during training camp the xp is greatly boosted so it's 2000 xp for the player one skill point and you get snaps towards a rookie if they are a rookie and they're hidden dev now if you go on down you see there's more xp for other stuff and you can actually play all of these so it's actually it would behoove you to go through and play every single one of these week one at training camp make sure to prioritize that and across every one of these games every time you play a game and i want to just make this clear for everything anytime you practice you have a chance to earn a dev trade upgrade which i think is great for one re for one or two reasons first off Breakout games are so random that it's like you got to play well. And then when you play well, you don't get a breakout game and it's demoralizing. The idea that you can always get one from a practice mode randomly is also nice, kind of adds to it. This also helps with users who may not be as great as the games at the game, especially in a online league where they're never going to really get many breakout games. This is another way to add some frequency, some other ways to really go about getting them. So the way this works is simple. You play any of these, like I said, throughout the season in training camp. And if you go ahead and you get gold, Gold, and when I say gold or better, I mean gold is the minimum uh, for this. Let's just say the minimum here is that 20K to get gold. If you get 20K and above, is pretty much at any point you are eligible to receive a random dev trade upgrade. Now, some people have said it didn't work with rookies. I've already seen it confirmed. Even hidden dev rookies can still get a dev trade upgrade, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Could age play a factor? It's possible, but pretty much the formula right now is get gold. And quite honestly, I would shoot for above gold. Like if it says 20K, go for the 30K range. Get as much as you can. And remember, you can restart these. So if you're trending towards a high silver, a low bronze, just keep restarting them. So I'm going to get into one, show you guys me getting a high gold, and show you what the out screen looks like. But if you look at rewards, this is what you're always going to see. You're going to see the XP, the skill points, and the rookie snaps. If you get lucky, you see the dev trait below that. But I'm sure you guys how this works. So as you guys probably saw there, I got gold. I got slightly above gold. Like I said, at any point, it can hit. Now, one thing I do want to note, the training camp ones are a little bit harder in the sense like for the passing one, you have to do the outmanned event, which is definitely harder. Throughout the season, they are easier, which is why I suspect it's possible mini camp could have a slightly higher hit chance for these. But here you see you got gold. Now, I want to make something, I want to make something clear. From here, you can try again or continue. So let's just say you are a firm believer that you want to get 20K, 30K. You want to go well above and beyond. You can continuously keep trying again. So the po important thing to note is that you can you can retry so i think it is so important for you to just keep retrying i don't think you want to be one of the guys that just takes the gold and just hopes for it if you can play this for 30 40 minutes you got the time i would just go for the high one see if you can get it dev trade upgrades from a practice mode is just so huge that's just that'd be great if you could just you know consistently hit i'm going to show you guys what the screen looks like you hit continue and when you come on out this is where you would notice the dev trade upgrade so when you finish here and you complete this you see one skill point 2500 and below all that, you'd see a dev trade upgrade. It would say dev trade increased. It would show you the dev trade you got. I'm going to go ahead and play another one. I'm going to run you guys through that and try to hit on this one. As you guys can see there, I just got 20,700 points. That's, that's a lot. I mean, I could have went. A decent amount more had I not missed that one where I did the bump and did the zone chuck out and let him go out. But as you guys can see, I clearly have two favorites. Those are the two I like playing first. Uh, some of the other ones can get a little bit, a little bit harder, take more attempts. But twenty thousand is a fair amount of XP. You back out 
And again, here's a screen where you would see a potential reward. So as you guys see right here, we get a skill point and 2,500 XP. We take a look right here. You see right here, 750 and dev trait upgraded. If you do complete a game and you end up getting the dev trait, this is what it would look like. And like I said, I've seen enough people get it to know that it's very possible. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but I've also tried enough myself to know it's not the easiest thing in the world. So I'd put it somewhere with it, it's, it's chance fair because in my league, we were considering the idea of potentially maybe we'd have to not allow this feature you know demote devs back if people could just kind of cheese it and just sit there and get thirty thousand. and let's just say there was a threshold like every 30k xp was a guaranteed dev we wouldn't want that either so it is nice to know that like it's not as frequent like 20k there is a good amount i've seen people get it on 20k so the ratio of getting it to not getting it is, is, is good in my opinion now if you guys take a look here we are in the regular season so this is where the training camps will be different so before when you were looking at it it was like the big screen all these games now you're looking at focus player mini games so once you get to the season you're only gonna be able to do your focus players which is anywhere from three to six depending on your coaching packages so once you get here here's pretty important so mini game available you can only get a potential dev upgrade on the guys you have as focus players so keep that in mind like you don't want to maybe be doing it on adam thielen 30 years old like maybe you don't want to be doing it on that guy you want to be focusing on your younger guys so it also keep in mind if you have a 25 year old guy that you don't want to use as a focus player because like he's kind of like maybe botched already but if you got superstar dev or start dev with him he might be worth it maybe you could toss him into your sixth or fifth spot spot once unlocked and hope for a dev game you know there's some strategy to be done here but when you get here you click on mini game available and if you look in here you'll see all the drills you can do with bryce you can only pick one of these now it's not like in the uh regs in the preseason where you could do all of them and also keep in mind you cannot repeat players so in the preseason once you use like bryce for one of them you can't use them on the other passing one you're gonna have to use your backup quarterback um so keep that in mind too don't think you could just go all out with all it might be worth having some decent backups to see if you can hit on them too which i kind of like as well but here you see it's only 750 xp so when you do these there's no skill points involved so you'll just see similar to the screenshot i showed you before which means that that dev trade upgrade was actually in reg season because it only has xp 750 and you get the dev trade upgraded so it can be it can happen in preseason it can happen in regular season i think it's a great addition to the game as long as it can't be abused but I hope this helps you guys. Please comment down below if you've gotten any of these. I'm really interested to see out of like X amount of people, how many people have hit on these. But make sure you are playing your mini games. As if I didn't stress in the last video enough how important mini games were for XP. Like let's not even begin to talk about that. Like the XP you get from just playing mini games over the course of, you know, 18 to 21 weeks, depending on playoffs, the amount of XP you get over six, seven, eight seasons of building a player. Mini games are invaluable to begin with. And then you add the fact that there's dev trade chances. You want to do every single one every week get your focus players up but yeah pretty much wraps up today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button comment down below like i said if you've hit on any of these and please dm me on twitter if you have send me some screenshots i'm still interested to see what people are hitting on you know is it is a normal superstar i mean is a normal star is it starts superstar is there x factor ones i would love to see that as well thank you guys for watching hopefully this does help you guys out in your own personal franchises uh make sure to check out underdog down below in the link that's about it thank you guys for watching i'm out peace